guys are not aware. Yes. Our Senator Rick Scott, also to me known as Voldemort. Um, he is he, Voldemort. He is honestly one of the most despicable human beings ever. But that he, he has come up with an 11 point plan. He has a plan. And Mitch McConnell actually isn't too keen on this plan. So there's going to be. Wow, there's, wow, wow, wow. Now, who knows what his problem is with it? I'm sure it doesn't. Even be, the fact is, it's, it's, it's more of a list of platitudes, really, than a plan. But this is his action plan. And I if wanna, anybody doesn't think that Rick Scott is going to run for president, they don't know how much Ron DeSantis and he actually don't like each other. So uh, to say that uh, he is very likely going to run would be an understatement. So he's going to run. And these are the, I'm, uh, I the 11. This. So it's the 11 point plan. That mm -hmm. he is going to be running. You need to get rid of uh, that because I, I want to scroll through. All right. So. so, guys, this is this is Rick Scott's eleven point plan. Okay, and we're just going to go through. Like, there's there's pages in between that have more details on this, but I just just to give you an idea of what he thinks the direction it like what's needed here in this country. So, number one, this is number one on his eleven point plan. Our kids will say the pledge of pledge of allegiance salute the flag, learn that America is a great country and choose the school that best fits them. Translation, he wants charter schools in choice because he can profitize and basically screw all the poor people. <laughs> so that's that. We but want, this is number one. Kids we, will want, say the pledge. we want your loyalty and you will deliver it. You will you know, salute we really should, the flag. I mean, could you imagine? Rick Scott really is like the president of 1984. Like that's him. He is the he is big brother. He has the look. He has the style. OK, government will never again ask American citizens to disclose their race, ethnicity or skin color on any government forms. I hate translation. I don't like black people and I don't like that. That we're pe there are certain people that are trying to give them a fairer chance. We don't like that. I hate to say it, but this unfortunately is one of those points that is going to resonate with a lot of people. Because oh, yeah. there's a lot of people who don't like Translation, this. Translation, I don't like black and brown people. Mm. Okay. So. That may be part of the course for one or some. Okay, here's number three, yeah. people. Mm -hmm. The soft on crime days, meaning the, all the over-incarceration, the soft on crime days of coddling criminal behavior will end. We will refund and respect the police because they, not the criminals, are the good guys. This is number three in his national plan. So just pay attention. Like, this is where his priorities are. Like, this is what's needed in this. You know, people would be a lot more accepting of a tough on crime type of country if we actually had a country that didn't profit off of crime. Right. If it was in, well, then you wouldn't have what we would have. Yeah, well, exactly. And number four. You know, those two, you know, they always forget that part. It's like they start correctly and then they don't finish correctly. Okay. So it's only one or the other. Four. And this one is a personal favorite. Okay. We will secure our border, finish building the wall, and name it after President Donald Trump. Excuse me while Rick gets off his knees because he's been there for a while. I Oh, oh uh, my God. Uh, uh, this is... I totally thought that I, you know, I totally understood why Rick did this. And he is a wonderful person, tremendous guy. He understands what's necessary. Seriously, people, this isn't his uh, plan. With the this altar of Donald Trump the man Trump. And that's what he's doing. He's just giving the people what they want. And I am a man of the people. Really great guy. Tremendous. Okay, guys, number five, also so important. We will grow America's economy. Starve Washington. <laughs> he used the word this starve. Is, starve Washington's economy and stop socialism. This is, this is part of the, this is the fifth part of his plan. So we are not, we're going to grow our economy. Yeah. We're going to starve Washington's economy. Hell yes. Even though he feeds off of that, suckles off that teeth quite, like, quite nicely. And we're going to stop socialism because right now we're so socialist the way that corporations are taking over our country. Well, I, you know, and, again. And the way that workers have so much control over their working conditions. We're really socialist. Well, he's running for the president of Florida, if you couldn't tell already. Like that's that's the president of Florida's oh my God, people. Right but okay, so, so he's let's got go that down. On to point six. Let's see what we have here. Cause I didn't get through all of these because I just could Oh yes, austerity. Yes. Okay, speak to me, Rick. What is I he mean, saying? If only Steve Grumbine were here right now to read number six, we will eliminate all federal programs that can be done locally and enact term limits. 
for federal bureaucrats and Congress. Now, that actually doesn't bother me. <laughs> that doesn't bother me either. And it actually is a policy, at least. Like, it is at least a plan where it's not just a platitude. So, But yeah. here's the thing. What Rick Scott is effectively saying in the first part, uh, this is austerity politics 101. This is, we want you to literally be afraid all, all day, every yeah. day, that you are going to be in abject poverty. You are going to be in misery if you don't work like a slave. And that is what they want. Eliminate all federal programs that can be done locally. Translation, we want to make sure that you can only do things that are within a balanced budget. Or uh, it's like PAYGO. That's what that is. That's PAYGO. That's pay That's PAYGO. No, That's here's what, to me, this is what I hear. Translation, we will eliminate all federal programs that can be done locally. Translation, I don't like poor people. They are not my problem. Pull yourselves up from your bootstraps. That's mm -hmm. the translation to me. So let's move on to seven. Let's see what we have for seven. Oh, <laughs> you want? Okay, guys. So we will protect the integrity of American democracy and stop left-wing efforts to rig elections. Does that mean they're going to stop left-wing efforts to rig primaries? No, they don't care about that. No, not that part of the equation. Um, but Can't the we just all agree that everybody is rigging elections? Everybody. Imagine having a imagine having a plan where you specifically have to. This is divide and conquer strategy. This is all about how can we effectively divide, uh, you know, into teams. Left the wing left, efforts are efforts to the left totally it, rig elections. Yeah, the, that's the what left, they do. The left does it. The right does it. And but the left generally does it against itself. The left does it against progressives. The left just sucks at doing it against Republicans. That's really what it <laughs> they is. haven't figured out how to do. No, that. not as good as the Republicans can. That's for sure. <laughs> Number eight. Oh, family values. Okay. Do you want that? We will protect and defend and promote the American family at all costs. Because if I were still uh. alive today, I would let people know how important <sighs> family values is. That is how I became president, and that is how everyone has copied me for the past 40 years. Okay. Translation of number eight. We will protect, defend, and promote the white, hetero-American, normative, uh, Western, uh, Judeo-Christian family at all costs. Wealthy family. Next. <laughs> what is the American family, Rick? He has no concept. <laughs> oh, oh, this is beauteous. Men are men, women are women, and unborn babies are babies. We believe in science. Hmm, not really, Rick. Well, if you <laughs> believed in science, Rick, then why, when you were the governor of Florida, say we will not be discussing the science of climate change? Ever. And, for, and forbade anybody in the entire state government from using the term climate change. Mm, That's yeah. somebody who really believes in science. There science you go. for thee. Not for ye. <laughs> that is how this works, ladies men and gentlemen. Men are men, women are women. Men are oh for, my God. Men have a penis, girls have a vagina. Translation. I am very insecure about my manhood. And he probably, I probably, you think he's got like a. I don't know about that, but I, 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 he probably needs to constantly be visiting the, his friendly neighborhood urologist. I Maybe so. That. Well. But the point is, unborn babies are babies. We believe in science. Mm, clearly not actually. So clearly not. He anyway. really goes into the running for the worst politician and in the United like, States. This is like, horrible. He really, He's so evil. He really right, tries hard. Oh, okay. oh, yeah. So this is, a big, this is a big one, guys. Yeah, this so, is one of my favorites. One of the things that we've always talked about, and this is one of the reasons why we really try to form as many relationships with libertarians as we possibly can, because libertarians truly do believe in the separation of church and state. But they, of course, fall in line and vote for the Republican. Well, this is Mr. Republican going full bore into the theocracy element of GOP politics. Americans will be free to welcome God into all aspects of our life. All that's the all key word. Of our that's lives. the key word. All aspects of our lives. And we will stop all government efforts to deny our religious freedom and freedom of speech. He had to put that freedom of speech. But in. it doesn't even matter that because the whole thing about we are free to welcome God into all aspects of our lives. But here's the thing. And he should get, and he, he's not an idiot. He's very highly educated. Oh, he person. absolutely is. So like, he also knows that the free to welcome God is the same thing as free to not welcome God. And that would be me. 
I'm an atheist. Never believed. Never did. To me, God and Santa Claus were always the same concept. Like it was just never anything I believed in ever. I don't have an issue with other people believing that. But to be honest, um, I don't want that in my public school. I just don't. So, you know, Rick, take your God and shove it. Yeah, for real. The only downside for me about not being gated is that I'll probably have to deal with the Jehovah's Witnesses again. (laughs) <laughs> I had a nice, I had a nice reprieve from them. And finally, last Let's but certainly not last... least, America first. We are Americans, not globalists. And now, I'd love to see his investment portfolio. Now, unfortunately, this is another one of those points that will resonate with a lot of people. No, we are America first, but we live in a multinational world. And if you think that it's, in, that you know, again, I believe in America first when it comes to our economy. And I think most Americans believe in that. At least I hope they do. But that's not what he's talking about. No. That's not what he's talking about. What he's talking about <laughs> is corporate special interests must be America first, not China, not Russia, not anywhere and else. And yet I would love to see what his portfolio looks like. Because he never wins either to. way. That's the thing about people like Rick Scott. They win either way. So he it doesn't matter. You know what no. I mean? Oh, you could stop, share. We could be done with this. You no, could. I just want people to see just what. Oh, my God. That's a good one. Oh, my God. It's just not good. But you got to go Actually, into no, StreamYard. You got to go into StreamYard and, and stop and then re- and then share again. So you got to stop that. All right. So remove. remove. Uh-huh. Okay. So we've got that out. And now Let's you have to go to share. share. No. Stop screen. Oh, it is stop screen. Sorry. Okay. And share and share screen. Yeah. So he he really feels the need for everybody to see what this person looks like. Most people here know what our guy looks like. Tell me that's not an evil son of a bitch. He's Voldemort. Like, how do you not see just how, like, he's sinister. Like, he is. You can see that he's got, he's He's soulless. Yeah, he's soulless. Like, he really is. Yeah, that's a that is a man who. Um, yeah, make it go away, please. Make it stop. Just oh my god, make he's, it stop. He's praying, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, he's so he's sorry. trying to pretend like he has a heart, but he can't find it because it's just not there. He doesn't give a. Thanks for watching. If you want to support our mission to transform politics into service, please like this video, subscribe, follow us on social media, and consider joining our Patreon, where you'll get early access to our interviews as well as other exclusive content. Links are in the description. Peace out.